Uh, Casey Dunn, BKV, this is N4LRA. N4LRA, this is KC9VKV. What's the name, please? Yeah, the name here is Jill, and I'm in Virginia, about 30 miles south of Washington, D.C. Just been reading the mail here for a while. And the uh, band's not in great shape, but uh, I'm copying you fairly well. You're uh, averaging about an S9 here. So I'm Bill, and I'm in a little town called Dumb Free, D-U-M-F-R-I-E-S, uh, just south of Washington, D.C. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Roger, Roger. And uh, do you know where your uh, equalization is? Uh, yes. Uh, I push the button here. Uh, it works this uh, on. And it says transmit bandwidth uh, 100 to 2800 hertz. Uh, go ahead. Is that the highest? Can you go to 100 uh, and 2900? Yeah, I just uh, moved the dial and it went to 2900. Uh, probably can't tell the difference, so it's only 100 hertz here. Go ahead. Oh, yes. Yes, you can. And that's, uh, I suggest that you run in the highest mode possible. There's no reason for you to compromise your uh, band pass. So run in that 100 to 2900. Roger, Roger. Yeah, Roger. That's where it's set right now. I'm using a, uh, an ICOM uh, 7410 here, the IC 7410. Uh, go ahead. Roger, Roger. Now, uh, if you know where your EQ is, let's go to EQ and uh, put uh, two uh, two clicks uh, boost on the uh, top end, treble or whatever uh, they might call it. Okay, I just set mine to plus two. On the uh, top end, on the treble, Roger. Yeah, Roger. It, it says plus two, and uh, this is plus five. That's all. It, all it goes to. It won't go any higher. There. Go ahead. Uh, sounds pretty good. I think I would leave it like that, Roger. Yeah, Roger. And there's also a bass one on here, I believe. Uh, if I go down to number... Yeah, here it is. It, it's set at plus two also. I would take back uh, one of those. I would make it a plus one. Okay, it's uh, now set at plus one. All right, then I would go to my compressor. Okay, compressor is turned off. Uh, I haven't been using any compression, but... Uh, yeah, one moment here. Roger. I would suggest to go to your compressor, turn it on, but only at a three. Uh, only at a three on the compressor. Roger, Roger. Yeah, one moment here. Let me uh, let me see what I've got here. i got compression, and uh, it's on right now. Does that help any? Well, uh, what you want to do is adjust it. Uh, can you, what's the scale, zero to uh, ten? Uh, hold on here. Let me see what it says. Uh, Transmit, uh, i got to go through some menu items here. Uh, let's see, hot pass, low pass. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, actually, this is a, uh, a control. Okay, this, this is uh, just about as low as it'll go there. Uh, go ahead. All right. Um, it's not in numbers. You, you can't do it like from uh, zero, or one, two, three, four, up to ten. No, on the menu here, just uh, it, it's just uh, compressor. That's all it says. And then you've got a rotary control where you can turn it up or down. Exactly. So uh, can you turn it from, is that the full, um, from minimum to maximum, like a regular volume control? If that is it, you want to run that at about a, about a 9 or a 10, about a 10 maybe. Okay, well, it's at an 8 right now, and then, uh, let's see, this would be 9, that's 10, that's number 10, uh, uh, if you were looking at it like a clock. R Roger, yeah, we're talking about 10 o'clock? Yeah, that's where it's set at. Okay, I would come back to about 9. Okay, well, I'm sitting on number 9 right now. All right, and uh, tell me about your antenna, sir. Uh, could you repeat? Tell me about your antenna so I can hear a little bit of your audio. Okay, this is N4LRA, uh, Bill and Dumfries. Uh, the antenna here is a full-wave 40-meter delta loop, and uh, mine is uh, hoisted up uh, in an inverted triangle configuration. I took down a 40-meter uh, dipole and used the same support ropes to hoist this one up, and uh, it's about 70 foot in the air on the flat side, and the feed point's about 35 foot off the ground. I'm using... Uh, uh, some good coax here. I'm using the, uh, uh, what do you call it here? It's the uh, 
25400F uh, is what it's called. It's a low loss uh, flex coax and has a 0.8 dB loss uh, per 100 foot on 30, at 30 megahertz. And uh, uh, that's what I'm using uh, to feed it through a 4 to 1 current balance made by DX Design there. Go ahead. Okay, now I noticed that you might have been turning your head away from the microphone. It ch tended to change uh, top end EQ, so you might have been moving your head off axis to the microphone. I'm not sure, but you need to. What kind of mic is that? Uh, this is uh, an SM8. It's a very old mic, it's about 30 years old. It's, uh, uh, it's the ICOM SM8 uh, desk mic. Roger, Roger. I would work it just like that. And you, you need to pay particular attention how you work that microphone because you can uh, uh, get off uh, axis uh, pretty easy with that mic, Roger. So you need to work it just like you did that last transmission. Yeah, Roger. Well, this is where I usually have it. But, uh, you know, if I'm looking around for something like I was looking for that uh, label on the coax, uh, I'd turn my head away. So I was probably talking into the, the side of it there. Go ahead. Roger. Well, you just be aware that you need to work it just like that, or you will be losing. It sounded like almost 10 dB off the top end EQ when you turned your head. Your audio modulation stayed pretty close to the same, but your EQ curve suffered drastically when you uh, uh, became off axis to the microphone. Yeah, Roger. Well, it sounds like it's pretty directional then. I'm actually looking at my ALC here. Now, it's peaking uh, right now at about... Uh, I'd say 70%. Uh, Roger. Well, uh, you know, ideally, we're looking between uh, uh, halfway to uh, two-thirds uh, deflection on your ALC uh, <coughs> reading, Roger. Yeah, Roger. I'm going to change the mic gain just a little bit. It's setting at about uh, 10 o'clock. Now the mic gain's down to 9 o'clock, and the ALC has dropped to 50%. Roger. I would run it uh, pretty much like you had it, uh, just so long as you're not in the red, you know, uh, uh, you, that you do have just a breath of, uh, breath of daylight uh, be, between uh, too much uh, in the ALC. You don't want to, you don't want to bang that ALC, uh, you know, where it wakes up and flashes red. You want to stay out of that, but you can move it up to two thirds for sure. Roger. Yeah, Roger. Well, I'm back up to where it was. It's at 10 o'clock and uh, speaking right about two-thirds, maybe 75 percent uh, on absolute peaks. And, uh, you know, this is not the old analog meter. This thing's all digital. So, uh, you know, I kind of like the old analog meters. Uh, they just, uh, you know, uh, they seem to not jump around so much. You know, they, they sort of move a little bit slower. But, uh, you know, you buy a radio today, uh, chances are you're going to have a digital meter in it there. Uh, anyway, again, the name's Bill, and I didn't get your name or your TTH. Uh, KC9 BKB M4 LRA. Yeah, uh, the name here is Jim Julie at India Mike, call signs KC9 VKV. And uh, could you come back uh, slowly with your call sign, uh, Roger? Yeah, Roger, this is November 4, Lima Radio Alpha, like little red apple. Uh, go ahead. Roger, and Daryl's the name? No, it's Bill, Bravo India Lima Lima, Bill. Actually, the given name is Wilbert, W-I-L-B-E-R-T, but I go by Bill. Roger, Bill. <laughs> All right. Well, I think uh, I think you're sounding great. Uh, uh, just give me another 10 seconds of audio so I can be sure that uh, everything is copacetic. Roger. Okay, very good. Uh, KC9 uh, VKV on 4LRA, uh, 12345, 54321. I hope you're having good weather there. We've got uh, about uh, 82 degrees here right now and kind of muggy. And maybe some thunderstorms coming in this evening. Uh, uh, you can tell that... Uh, uh, we're heading to summer, N4LRA. Roger, Bill, and where did we leave your uh, compressor? Uh, what was the question on the compressor? Where did we leave the uh, setting on your compressor? 9 o'clock. Uh, move that to 10 o'clock, and uh, let me hear you one more time. Okay, I uh, just turned it up to 10 o'clock. This is uh, 10 o'clock. Now, I am getting full ALC now. All right, then move your mic down uh, uh, four clicks. It might gain four clicks down. Okay. Here we are. We're back down uh, where I'm getting mid-range ALC. Uh, go back to where you were. Just um, let me see whether we had a, uh, a signal failure or, or what. Your audio went down pretty much. 
Okay, very good. Well, I appreciate your help there. Uh, it's, uh, it's looking good. I know, uh, you know, as long as I'm not taking the ALC out, I should not be dirty anyway. Uh, I, I hate to hear these guys splattering all over the band, you know. It, it, it just sounds bad. Uh, N4LRA. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We want to stay out of the red, ideally between mid-scale to two-thirds, Roger. Yeah, Roger on that. Well, right now I'm peaking just about uh, two-thirds ALC. Excellent, Bill. Well, let me say threes to you, sir. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I think we I got you going pretty good there. Okay, well, thanks for the help, and uh, I wish you a very good uh, weekend coming up. Let's hope we get a good band opening. Uh, <laughs> right now it's not sounding too good. N4 LRA, 73, and uh, have a very good weekend. Roger, roger, and stay on mic. Stay on on access on that mic. <laughs> that three is out of way, and uh, we need all the help we can get on 40. Mother Nature, come on, give us give us a break. Give us some good signal strengths on 40. Well, anyway, uh, three is out of way, and this is KC9 VKV and the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog uh, Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give us a shout, KC9 VKV.